Let's just take one quick minute to learn the key differences between the imaging appearance of a subdural and an epidural hematoma. So a subdural hematoma tends to be more crescentic, which is shaped like a partial moon, whereas an epidural hematoma is more shaped like a lens, so the outer margins bulge outward. Subdural hematomas cross sutures, and they go around dural reflections like the Fox and Tentorium. Epidurals do not cross sutures. Uh, usually subdural hematomas are from venous uh, hemorrhages because of tearing of subdural bridging veins. Epidural hematomas are usually due to injury of middle meningeal or arterial branches. The causes of subdural hematomas are more likely falls, particularly in elderly patients, non-accidental trauma, or maybe SAG from intracranial hypotension, where epidural hematomas are almost always associated with calvarial fractures and high energy trauma. And finally, when you treat subdural hematomas, you can sometimes do conservative management, but most of the time, significant epidural hematomas are going to have to go to craniotomy for evacuation.